Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. I think I just deleted one of my Stream Deck profiles. I don't even know how I did that. I'm trying to find my mic unmute button, but it just isn't there. <laughs> uh, let me uh, create a button for that really quickly. You know, just, just in case I need it or something. I don't even know why I would need a mic unmute button. Totally not necessary whatsoever. Um, can someone do me a favor and type in exclamation socials and see if my commands work this time around? Because last time they were acting up. <laughs> Everyone's just like, hey, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> Why is it not working? Yo, stream elements, you need to get your stuff together. I am not okay. With you having issues today? Thanks, everyone. I appreciate you testing it all out for me. At once, together. What is happening? Is what I would like to know. Okay, okay. Tell me if, if this turns out... Okay. That means my back. Okay, okay. I figured out that part at least. Oh, I am sorry. My profile is absolutely destroyed just before starting stream. But maybe we can just do a regular um, scene here. One second. For a second. All right. While I fix things. Oh, wait. It's all working now. Exclamation social? I thought it was socials. Huh? What? I am confused. My bot is acting up. Birdo, Parrot, Regal, Lit, uh, Rasmus, Roland, Shmelila, Vis... Vistui? I'm not sure if I say... I'm saying that right. Um, Zordon, Pseudo, Groovy, Torty, Lemons, nice to have you. And I'm sorry, that looks like it's Vietnamese. And if it is, I'm, I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. Welcome in. I forget that YouTube is a place where you can have any username that you would like, so it can get a little bit different, uh, difficult to welcome everyone in with their names. <laughs> You're only allowed uh, a singular, sorry. Okay, cool. Hey. <laughs> Very exciting at work though, so I can't even watch. I'm sorry, Roland. I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day though, and um, hopefully you can watch the video afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna name myself Berto. Please don't play this game for the 21st time. Is that how many times you play the game? <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm I'm excited today for some Elden Ring. I've been thinking about it all week. I'll have to uh, admit though, I did kind of play a little bit of it over the weekends. But I will say it was mostly to go back and clear things that I hadn't finished clearing, which was mostly in Nokron. The Eternal City, um, and the area surrounding the Prince of Death. So, not too much was done. I saved all the important stuff for stream, which we're going to be doing today. Godfrey, we're going to be fighting the first Elden Lord. Um, which we stopped off last time we streamed. We got to Lundell, the Ashen Capital. We started exploring it. I didn't expect to be back so soon, because we took a little portal after defeating Fia's champions. Um... Yeah, we basically ended up in Nakra in the Eternal City because I was trying to follow Blythe's clue about heading down there for Rani's quest. Didn't find Blythe, instead found Valiant Gargoyles, Nakra Eternal City, and everything in between. Um, and then we ended up in Lundell and uh, finding Godfrey. So that's what's on our agenda today. Plus a few other things I have... Um, sort of kept... For this stream, what I'm probably gonna do though is pick up my notebook uh, really quickly so we can take notes and then sort of find out what we're doing today. See how it goes. But yeah, I've been thinking about this game a lot. I wanna play more where else didn't we? Well, at least we know my bot is working. It's really nice to see all of everyone here today. Thank you for showing up. No dating, only kill. <laughs> okay, let me grab my notebook and then uh, we'll transition into some 
gaming hours. Some serious gaming hours. I'm also quite hoping that my cat doesn't wake up while we're playing games. Um, it's been kind of an intense day. Uh, I've literally been busy from the crack of dawn. First of all, Nyoki woke me up really early, but um, from like meetings to recording things to just finishing up a meeting to stuffing my face very quickly with food because I was hungry um, to, yeah, literally hopping on the stream. I, I finished my food one minute before I had to start streaming. Tear out this page. Have continuous notes. Okay. Uh, my notes do say talk to Fia. Next stream. Talk to um, Renala. Talk to Ronnie. And then I think Lit said I should go back to Fia's champions arena. Though I didn't really see anything there when I kind of cursory looked at stuff. Alright. Let's kill the music. Let's jump into the game. Imagine needing to manually transition between all your scenes. Terrible. And imagine you remember to do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, he, he's torty. You just, you could just bother him with torty. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I, th I think it's probably that lit. Uh, I'm not as far as people might think I am. There's still a lot of the game I have to cover. You could technically change your username on, um, YouTube. I think there's even a way for you to change your username so it's different in the chat experience versus your actual username. So uh, don't take my word for that. I could be absolutely lying and I could be a, a very untrustworthy source. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Um, Elden Ring is taking like 10 years to load. Like 10 actual years. Aha! Getting somewhere. Yay! Like, it... Really taking 10 years. Also, it's lagging up my computer. Which I'm not appreciating very much. The transition isn't as smooth as I would like it to be. Uh, Elden Ring? Can you, can you take it down a notch, please? Be very grateful. I, I think you answered yourself by asking, is this a dumb question? I'm actually the world's first AI. And I've been sent to YouTube to give people the ultimate test to see whether they could tell the difference between humans and AI. <laughs> Did you finish Elden Ring, Lemons? How you doing with that? Okay. I should be in front of Godfrey. I think I placed my character back there, but we... I wonder if I should make a quick detour. Eh, hmm. We'll see. We'll see how Godfrey goes. We need to warm up a little bit. Um, I want to I want to attempt Godfrey, but I think I might have some upgrades to my weapon, which I haven't had a chance to do. Some crafting materials that I've gotten, including a somber smithing stone seven. If the grafted great sword does go up to plus seven, which we will um, find out. All right, but one thing I need to do first is turn on my HUD. Probably is a good idea to play with my HUD on. Second thing is I need to answer a message, really. Okay. Because I don't want it to end. I am in a very similar boat. 
Um, yeah, I'm ready for my butt to be handed to me. Susan retires as soon as you can uh, watch anime on YouTube. <laughs> Who? <laughs> what build am I rocking? Hi, Arminas. Um, we're still doing a strength build. Uh, we're still rocking the Grafted Blade uh, Greatsword plus six. We're at level 67 at the this time. I did put some points into Endurance and Vigor last I played, so it, it gives us a little bit more flexibility to work with. And my little Flask of Wondrous Physics, uh, which I hopefully will use in this fight. Alright, let's do this. Hi, Christopher Rosado. Welcome in at the right time. Hello, Jazz. You're all arriving at the right time. Let's dive into it. He didn't do the gr grand opening. He didn't do the big leap where he throws out his axe. My game is really starting to lag up. Hi, Wee Panda. Hi, Kitty. Welcome in. Ooh, that whips right over my head. That's kind of cool. All right, there's a follow-up to that. A lot of this is going to be probably learning their moveset. But we are very likely to be punished. Nice. I dodged all of that. He really is hedging on me backing away. Like, really hedging on me backing away. But this game is lagging too hard. I don't need this additional, like, difficulty level. Hi, Sukvanak. Welcome in. Ah, the music is so epic. I love it. <laughs> Maybe reboot? It's been like this every single time I've been playing recently. It's like not even anything I can control, I imagine. It, it probably has a little bit with encoding and playing the game simultaneously. I could maybe... Let me see. I could maybe close some background windows. I think we can do a few things in terms of like just reducing the lag. Chrome probably being slightly problematic. <laughs> Shh. I don't have 80 open, but for some reason in my like YouTube live stream um, page, there was the stream playing. So I paused that. That probably doesn't help. Why is YouTube... Someone did that the other day. I don't know, Lit. Like, someone basically put a message in chat with emojis, and then it just took the emoji. I, I don't... I, I can't pretend to understand why that is. All I can do is sympathize with your plight. Um, okay, we killed a whole bunch of operations. Systems should be a go. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's what happened when I tried to wave emoji after saying Birdo. Thanks, YouTube. We appreciate that. All right, here we go. Might be a little greedy. Going for a second hit there. Mistake number one is... Back it away from this dude. We're gonna keep it close quarters. I say as I back it the heck up. You know what always is the mistake that you have with these fights? Is thinking that there is safe ground to kill back and heal. Because there isn't. And I'm just I'm just not gonna heal. <laughs> I'm just not going to heal. 
Honestly, it's kind of a shame because I feel like that's the that's the problem that we don't generally experience on Twitch unless Twitch is having a server day. Uh, our chat experience is relatively smooth, relatively, I like maybe 95% of the time. Finally caught lives here too bad I'm at work. Love this playthrough, Ash. Keep up the great work you got this. Thank you, Sean. Good luck at work and I'm sorry you can't be here for the entirety of today, but you know, the video will be up to watch at some later time. You know what? We're gonna go for jumping R2s. Instead of roll attacks. I've resolved myself. Alright, let's do this. Maybe not jump when he's in the middle of his combo. Okay, 616. See, that's that's almost doubling the damage we were doing earlier. All right, I think there was just the instinct that I wanted to just roll R1 into him. Um, at least we feel a little more confident about that. <laughs> just uh, watch out for his moveset and just remember when you can and cannot jump. I think the only difference is that rolling R1 is just a little bit safer when I'm in his like sphere of influence that I could probably grab one, uh, grab a hit on him while he's like woofing his other attacks. Come on, Godfrey. Come on, Godfrey. Let's do this. Let's tango. Dude, he's doing the slow walk. He's doing the launch. You wanna do something, your friends? He's also being just a tiny bit cruel right now. Like, his axe just covers so much ground. Like, don't worry, one way or another, he has- he has you pinned. Okay. I did not predict that one. Okay, okay. I had a very goofy laugh right there. <laughs> Just panicking. Got me. He doesn't seem to like it when I'm right behind him. Where's your fifth attack, huh? Oh, I whiffed that. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. He does kind of remind me of Thorkel, you're right! Yeah, there is a slow mode of like three seconds, but that's just me kind of preventing anyone from coming in and being super spoilery in two seconds, that's all. <laughs> um, the music is... It's just the right music to kind of get into the rhythm of this fight. Yeah, Thorkel's axe should be bigger. I agree. That that is the coolest move he can do, by far. He really likes that foot stomp. I think he's too tall for me. Like, a majority of his attacks just kind of go right overhead. Like, you could be standing right in front of his body, and then it would just whiff over. Have you not played um, Elden Ring Jazz? I imagine not. Let's go, Tordy. I hope you hear back from some of them.
Okay. Hi, Jersey. Like a huge stomp to destroy your opponents. Blunt Axe Badge, uh, Bash, that one's pretty cool. Alright. I can do a jump attack too. Except you can follow it up with a big overhead, which is kind of not fun. We didn't like that. Okay, we're almost halfway. Let's see if he has a phase two. He may not. I'm gonna heal just in case. Oh, he's really not following it up with any overheads. Like, that would have spelt my demise. On multiple occasions there. I'm gonna heal just in case. Okay, now he does overhead. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, friends. He clipped me there. I really don't like it when he does nothing. I'm gonna need heal. Just out of range. Oh, I whiffed. I missed it. Talisman pouch. Nice. Dun dun dun. All right, we gotta check it out. So I learned something new last time. <laughs> I like that fight. Hi, Yame. A lot of enemies have that in game. Then crouching uh, from the jump attack lets you avoid the high sweep. Ooh, I like that. I like some uh, little blind spots. Now for the whole building to be the boss. I am ready. You can walk up and start walking towards me and I'll still fight it. Um, I learned something the other day, which I never really did before, which is... Let's see. What was the thing I did? Sorting method in order of acquisition. And that indeed is handy. Because then it's just a matter of finding where the hell things went. Oh my god, how have I not been increasing talism and equip slots? I don't even remember... I've... I haven't been doing this. <laughs> okay, we need to maybe go and increase talism uh, slots, because uh, the ones that I'm using right now are the blue... Uh, the blessed dew talism, which I swap out for different things at all times. Oh, no, wait, I have it here. I don't even need to use it. There's a slot. The claw one, which enhances jump attacks. The axe one, which enhances charge attacks. And now we can put another one. We could do something as simple as like raising our maximum HP or stamina. I don't think I need to work with equip load right now. Um, let's see. What is something I would like? Vitality. See, this is an item I got last stream uh, la when I was not streaming. Prince of Death Cyst. This one was rather interesting because now we know the Prince of Death is one of um, one of the children um, that was like destined to die and supposed to be uh, killed off by the Tarnished. And that was, uh, I can't remember his name right now, 
but the fact that the cyst came from a corrupted visage of one of the unable to die a true death it comes from the prince of death scion of the golden bow and the first of the dead among demigods so he was one of the first demigods to die um but we, i also learned some more stuff about him The greater will sell... Oh, this is also some other interesting things that we learned. That the greater will is what sell, sent a golden star bearing a blast to the lands between, which later became the Elden Ring. That was actually really interesting. And I learned that lore from... Let's see. Um, one of these spells. Which one was it? Was it a spell that I learned it from? Yes, Elden Stars. I thought that was awesome. I thought this was like so cool that it wasn't even a thing that existed in these lands and thus it was sent by a greater will that then became the Elden Ring, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you should get a Mountain Dew Talisman there. We'll give you a ball of Mountain Dew each time you're thirsty. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Lit. That sounds awesome. Your first time dying close, too. You put together Glive and Fallout Fantasy 14. I saw it. It was lovely. <laughs> Hi, X-Ray. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hello, Vlask. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He really likes saying, like, hey, all these uh, otherworldly powers, aliens, by the way. You know that one meme where it's, like, this guy with, like, frizzy hair? I don't even know where it comes from. He's like, aliens. <laughs> That's Miyazaki. By the way, let's see, um, it's my lantern. I need to be able to see this place. Late night garlic toast? Perfect. That's on the History Channel? I can't believe that's from the History Channel. I've never seen that. <laughs> Alright, let's touch the side of Grace. I wonder if we're gonna have any lore moments here. Cool story, George. Now add aliens. Exactly. He's like, look, I know you haven't worked with this in your other mediums, but have you ever considered adding aliens to Game of Thrones? <laughs> like, consider it, okay? Um, we do- 80,000 runes. Hot dang. I can at least upgrade twice, and I need, um, 3,000 more runes to be able to do another upgrade, so I'm gonna- Pop, um... See how many this one gives me? This 1,200. We do... More of these. You already have aliens in your game? See, you're winning already, Jersey. Miyazaki would be proud. too kind thank you so much thank you for becoming a member i appreciate you very very much enjoy the very a similar experience when it comes to emotes in this channel just slightly less slightly less thank you so much for the support <laughs> no i appreciate you okay bye torty good luck i wonder what these pools are like i i they look like depths, so maybe it's best not to jump into the fog. We're- ooh, looking around. Somber smithing stone. Not what I wanted, but... I- we need- we have several, um, like... Tasks to do today before we go on exploring, alright? Several tasks. We have a large journey ahead of us. Okay, before, all right, all right, we'll return, we'll return. Okay, I, I need, I need to go. It's mandatory. I must go back to the round table hold. All right, first things first. Let's get some of these things off our agenda. We haven't been here in a very long time. Ah, I have decided to, as I mentioned. Oh, I'm off in search of right, he did tell us about that. We may not meet again for some time. 
It was an interesting quest. You wish to learn. Now's the moment. I guess I could just, you know, give him the prayer book. That is a work of heresy. Hey, Bosmas. Its incantations bear no lineage mm -hmm. from the earth. Yeah, we learned that. Very well. <laughs> Fine. I'll, I'll teach hands. you this heretical incantations. I can buy some things. This one might be uh, helpful. Does Lord's Heal also some uh, uh, heal s spirits? I, I don't mind if, if you tell me if it heals spirits. Silent Footsteps reduces fall damage and sound. I like Assassin's Approach. I'm gonna buy that. Just in case I need it. Ooh, Electrify Armament. It does? Okay, I might crack some, uh, crack some cold ones with the boys for that. Oops. It's really lame that YouTube doesn't give you a free membership with your YouTube premium like Twitch does with Prime. I, something tells me that even Twitch is not going to keep that forever. Just, uh, yeah, only a matter of time before they rescind those rights from us as well. But yeah, it would be kind of nice. I like that I have so many golden runes to work with here um, that we can actually go and do things like upgrade now. Like, I don't have to really worry about farming anything. All right, um, hello. Are you here for spirit tuning? Actually, yeah. Ooh, there's something that you should know. I need some grave glove warts. Okay, um, what's something you should know? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I, can't I love that imagine. word, cacophony. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. That's so interesting. It makes you wonder who managed to like either kill or see so many spirits that's even greater than the grafting i can hear it the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of the curse i can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself you should keep your distance i know you're strong but please um what you do jersey is get seven tv and seven tv has an experience where you can do theater mode just so you know. So it makes it a little bit more oh, of a it's you. tolerable Don't experience. Any mind. It's not important. Just lay out your arms. Strengthen armaments. Okay, we can actually go to plus seven. We just need the runes to do so. Alright. Can we like just consume all these cheap ones? I kind of don't want them, like, cluttering on my inventory. Oops. He's snorting like a pig. Is it your favorite blacksmith in all the Souls games? Okay, this should be um, at least enough to work with. Let's see how many upgrades we can do. No matter. Strength and armaments. Yes, plus seven. Oh, we can even go to plus eight, but we don't have a somber smithing eight. But that's cool. That's good to know. All right. Um, I'll also stop by Fia's room. See if she has anything to say to us. Oh. So she gave us a dagger and now she's gone. Could it be Fia herself? Using dress. Oh, yeah, you can change your appearance here, right? I can tell you where to find somber 8 and 1.0. Yes, please. 
No more hugs. Mm -mm. We're all tapped out of hugs. what powers we have oh that's what i did i defeated the regal ancestor but it's okay we've already done um an ancestral spirit before for the stream restores fp upon def uh, defeating enemies so this is a talisman that's actually kind of cool yeah that was that was um something i was like playing a little bit on sunday it wasn't the intention, but yeah, it's okay. It's not. It's not the biggest deal in the world. It was. It was exactly the same spirit as as the first one, except slightly cooler. A winged great horn. This is a great axe. Oh, exciting! I like the style of this one. It requires twenty decks though, but restoring FP upon defeating enemies is also kind of nice. <laughs> I kind of I kind of like the idea of that if you want to keep using summons and stuff like that. Maybe this is one of those instances where we need to duplicate it using the Colosseums or whatever they walk around, the mausoleums that walk around. Um, this one has the Glintstone Staff. And I've already made the Great Sword, but I think the Great Bow is another thing. Let's, let's make, um... Let's make the axe for fun. Yeah, I might dupe it, Ap Apophis. We'll see. Um, can we purchase anything? This is Radon stuff. This is the Queen's leggings. Did we ever see the Queen stuff? Let's see. Let me read this again. When not when Renala, head of both the Academy of Rhea Lucaria and Carrion royal family, lost her husband Radagon, her heart went along with him. And then those at the academy realized that Renala was no champion, after all. Why? Because she went after him after Merica sorrowfully pulled him away and took him as a consort? The golden line is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent, Sarosh. From his youngest years, Rodan was naturally captivated by the Lord of the Battlefield. So, East Regent. Fifteen minute uh, follow -up phone call on, on stream. What was funny about it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Synchronous. It's it's sad, right? Because it's like. Honestly, um, the situation was really heartbreaking, Before what they did to her. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Yeah, that's kind of the story that we're kind of unearthing now. Um, there's still much that I need to sort of, like, put the pieces together, which I, I'm kind of sad that I never made uh, my notes into more of a mind map, because I feel like it would be easier to sort of resort to the notes now and just decrypt them as events develop. I don't think I have bells for them. Do I have a? I do. Ghost form picker's bell bearing. What happens when you offer them a bell? Oh, these are the trick mares, right? You can even buy rune arcs from them. You can even buy ghost glove warts. This is the third one. I can take that and go to um to what's her face and get my stuff. My summon spirits. Hello? So much rot here. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being. I mean, you kind of are cursed. Itself, feared and despised by all. That's <laughs> sad. He's like just a bunch of boluses. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb. Enjoy the movie, Parrot. Ignorant of your own ignorance. You ignorant of your own you ignorance. Me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. 
I don't dare, sir. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. Box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Okay, I think I know where we're going. Alright. I can kill you and defile your curse. Please don't! Then the pox will truly be your own. So you can spread the curse from one person to another? <laughs> He's like, I can kill you and defile your corpse. No thanks. No thank you. Okay. Oh, that's Dung Eater! Hi, Dung Eater! What did we learn about you? Prevent dead souls returning to the Erd tree with the seed bed cursed placed by the dung eater. Right, he's done that. Maybe that's exactly what Fia's been talking about. Uh, where's that item? Give it a read again. Maybe it's not here. Can't remember where it was. It's key item. This one. Um Curse grown on the corpse killed and defiled by a dung eater, a tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The dung eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the earth tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in the lands between. I wonder if I, like, I feel like every time there's someone that says free my body, free my corporeal form, or free me, it means terrible things for the game. It means they come back and they just like kill everything in sight. I don't know. Do I want to free this dung eater? Uh, you. Do I want to do that? Um, Ensha. Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. The Dectus medallion. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Can you, can you, can you say that again? West of Laskia ruins or something like that? Or is it in the Laskia ruins, west of Leonia? <laughs> Hi, Dandela Games! Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Please enjoy the the emotes that you get to use throughout this YouTube channel and during the streams. Thank you, thank you. It means the world to me that you're supporting my content. Welcome in. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a okay. cave to the west of the last last year ruins. Jut from the mist shrouded lake of Leonia. Jut. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Unlocated demigods. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Nicola of the Halig Tree, the Unalloyed, mm -hmm. his twin, Melania, the undefeated swordswoman, mm -hmm. Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala. Mm -hmm. Well, we already met her. The one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great room. So here at the hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring Lord and of become Blood. Elden Lord. 
as such. Yeah, they've been talking about the Lord of Blood for a while. To work together. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. No! Honestly, what a man to What do. did you with Nefeli? Plebeian is more wicked than an omen hall, quite frankly. How did he say plebeian? That's just what the queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Yeah, to deal with the demigods. Salvis's potion. All right, he's the guy that's in under employment or employment of Ronnie. Is that potion, what I think it is, bloody Salvis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of, but I ask you this: Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted Dolly botherer? Dolly bother. Would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? You were kind of mean to me when we met too. Well, I won't force you, but I think your plan would be a dreadful waste. She's not herself right now. And though I have no need of her, she still has potential. Certainly more value than she'd have as a bloody puppet. Talking about Ronnie? Let's see, what is this potion? It must be a key item. Let's read it again. By the way, um, there's a lot of things that I'm asking sort of hypothetically and sort of conversing with all of you. Um, please don't jump ahead with like conclusions of whether I want answers on the storyline. I'm, I'm still trying to piece things together. I will definitely be very definitive when I ask for... Um, some tips or to fill in the gaps did we go to Selen yet I feel like we did this is Selvius's potion find the felly and ensure she drinks it well what is it now I can mod you yeah Okay. I need to think about that. I'm uh, uncertain right now of what I want to do with, uh... With these potions. I think I need to- I need to see and need to hear a little bit more. Um, let's see. Something else that we need to do before we go. Um... You fool! Yeah, I know, I know. Oh yeah, he's suffering. I doubt he is able to speak anymore. Okay. Then I guess... Yeah, Rajir's suffering. Rajir having a hard time. There's also someone else missing from the round table. The round table hold. Let's go quickly talk to Ronnie. Yeah, I, 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 I probably have missed some storylines. It, it always happens when I play Souls games. It only takes like a second playthrough to really just be aware of everything. Ronnie, where are you? Let's rise. Let's have a brief conversation. Because um, there's also something else that I did last off that you may not have seen or been privy to. That is... Ex when I explored Nokron, we picked up the Finger Slayer Blades. It's the hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood-drenched fetish is a proof of high treason committed by the eternal city and symbolizes its downfall. So the mimic tears are actually also a very interesting thing that are a part of the eternal city of Nokron, but the fact that they try to basically, um, they try to create lords which then failed. Um, and that's why you got those like mimics. It was their way of like being able 
to create grand power. So this is also something within that same spirit. Cannot be wielded by those without a faith, but it's said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals, the greater will being the Elden Ring. Um, the Elden Ring also referring to a beast of sorts as well. Yeah, let's uh, let's have a conversation with Ronnie. Ascent. Actually, I probably should have uh, looked around as well, see if we could have a conversation with our NPCs. Sylvius and if light is anywhere in the vicinity. Let's, let's go up. It truly is an appropriate name, Ronnie's Rise. Hello. Ah. It was thee. It is I, Not yes. Blithe, it <laughs> Even Why was? I'm still I here. It. I exist. It is in thy possession, is it not? It's... The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Dark path only she can tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee. So I'm with guessing this. this might be the last time we talk to her for now. The Carrion Inverted Statue. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. Aww. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what is it? You may go. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path. Only I... Okay, let's take a look at this. Key item, no doubt. Reveals the hidden form of the Carrion Study Hall, which connects to the Divine Tower to unveil the secret to fix the pedestal. Oh, that's so cool! Ah! I love it! Okay, cool. So, let's put a note. This is something to do. Um, the Carrion Statue. turn that's nice <laughs> yeah I am a, I have tiny sneezes it is true I love this it's like honestly you know how do I put this but souls games know how to do fetch quests without making them feel like fetch quests does that make sense like, they send you on this, like, elaborate journey to do their bidding, but it doesn't feel like, can you go get me this from, like, this one area and get ten of them, please? And, by the way, there's, like, five monsters blocking your path that are, like, bigger than the entire city itself. So you're never, like, sitting there and rolling your eyes on yet another fetch. <laughs> Aggressive? Wait, puppers. Why? Ah, why am I to betray me? You know what's actually really upsetting? Once upon a time, there was a dragon here. It like phased in and out of existence and then it was gone for good. And I was sad. I was left heartbroken. Never to taste the sweet defeat or sweet victory of its defeat. Maybe the real quest on it was the friends that we made along the way. Perhaps. Or maybe it's the people we killed along the way. I wonder if um, Miyazaki purposely created round table hold so that you would not be able to wield your weapon in certain areas just because people were constantly killing their NPCs in their games. Like I'm, I'm about to do now. I mean, technically, he deserves it. I've no time for idle chit chat. Psh. 
The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Will I give it to Nefeli? I mean, I never even found her. I found her once. Uh, I have enough online. When I was, um, let's see, what was the last time I saw Nefeli? I believe it was here. Like, maybe next to Godric the Grafted or leading up to him. Okay, um, so... Let's see, I would uh, wager that we should head to... The Tree Sanctuary. Explore a little bit. We can even go into the, the jail. The sewers. Um... And then I have something I want to do in Nokron. Let's look around here. Corpses of these beings. Don't they look like, um, they look like something. They look like the finger readers, don't they? Yeah, stand there for an eternity. More holy grease. Probably. Also destroys our satisfaction of killing people that annoy us. Like, what was it, Gideon, I believe? He really bothered me at the beginning. Is Torrent here? I cannot. What's that? What's that item? <laughs> Do you remember the top of the Nexus where um, there's all the dead monumentals? Yes. What of it? Nice. I took a piece of the door with me. This leads into another building, but I imagine we can also explore rooftops. They reminded you of that. Oh, so that's how we get the item. Very cool. The Earth Tree Bell. All right, on to reading. Longbow featuring Erd tree styling. In times of old, when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with the golden arrow. Scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when used with holy infused arrows. It, oh, I, I, mean, I, I find Demon Souls a very rewarding game, including its lore. Do I kick this down? Yeah. I do recommend playing the game, even if you're already played the original. Not that the original is bad, but if you can't get your hands on the remake, I still recommend. What is this? Golden Order Principa. Book of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, a dense and complex academic treatise that contains the Order's fundamental principles, can be given to a learned cleric to learn the following Radagon's Rings of Light, Law of Regression. Cool. But why here? Why just like suspended from the ceiling? You play one and a half playthroughs of Demon Souls? Oh, that's a decent amount. The lore is fun. Um, there's this really great site, Ayame, of this one uh, person who kind of unearthed a lot of Demon Souls uh, lore. I can't remember their name off the top of my finger right now. Or my, my, my tongue. Tip of my tongue. Yes, I know how to speak English. But they did very well into just breaking down the lore.
Now that was cool. <laughs> Loki souls, yes. Very good site. Very, very, very good. I would say what's really interesting about the um the remake is that they kind of elaborate a little bit more on the architecture, which resonates a little bit more with the lore. I feel like there those were a lot of the details lost in like a lower texture game. I'm sorry, I don't understand Japanese, but welcome in. Yeah, and the cool yeah, he was very cool about it. He was very cool about it. Yes, uh, Bishti, I have, and I refuse to remove the debuff. <laughs> it will be one with us until the end of times. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Really had to pick up those 417 runes, you know? You really went for that immediately. It's like the first thing they did and they succeeded too. That was a very, um, both, I, I sense like Artorius and Dancer from their moveset. Does anyone else get that? Like maybe, maybe it kind of has like a slightly faster Dancer slash like Artorius moveset. Books or stones? Stones. Oh. Oh, Guinevere's chamber? <laughs> it's a big bed. What sight of grace is this? It's my chamber? Oh, cool. I always wanted a chamber like this. Blessing of the Earth Tree. One of the ancient Ur tree incantations grants a greater blessing to the caster and nearby allies, gradually restoring a large amount of HP. Oh, that's better than the huge heal I got. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Ur tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of life. Yeah, whose bed was this? Doesn't seem like the most comfortable, but... Anything works if you need a nap, right? There's also another way we could head out, but... Oh, we're actually heading to the Earth Tree. Oh, I feel like it's too early. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. No way we're heading to the Earth Tree now. This was a massive door. Graceless, tarnished. Oh, hey, we meet again. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. I'm going to call them M&Ms from now on. General Bradan. Praetor Rikard. I haven't been to Mount... Luna Princess Rani. Belmere. Willful traitors. All. Traitors too. Thy kind are all of a piece. Villagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Rid upon thy meager grave. Felt thy king, Morgoth, 
Who made you king? Last of all kings. <laughs> nice blade. You got an upgrade. Nice. We meet again. It's the uh, oil spill blades. Duh. Cool. They didn't change his death, uh, taunts. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, he said it again. He's out to wound me. And my pride. Put these foolish notions. What does he say? Something to rest? Foolish ambitions to rest. The Omen King. Ladies full ambitions to rest? What? Alright, here we go, friends. That oh, was very dangerous of me. Okay. I messed up from the get-go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Jazz Master with my brother Jazz Mister and Jaws Monster as my cousin. <laughs> you should check the summon sign next to the fog. What summon sign? Oh, there is actually a summon sign here. What? Oh, I kind of want to do it for story. But I don't want to. But, oh, why does she look so different when she's like in full standing form here beside me? I Okay, I need to ask a yes or no question. Yeah, I, I want to know if it, if it's, if it, there's like any story progression by inviting her because it's interesting. I, I want to invite her just because of that, but not because I want her to help me in the fight. I kind of want to see her in action, though. It doesn't. Let, let's just let's just die. Let's summon her and die. I didn't actually notice that. Hello, my fair lady. Whee. All right, let's go. Let's die. Let her soul. <laughs> Um, Melina, oh hi. Can you can you put him in his place, please? Look at that fire blades. Can you give him a big burn for me? So I need to do the hard task of surviving. As we watch No, he slapped Melina! How dare you! Look at her dance. Ooh, pretty. Oh, she only did 101 damage. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Melina. I like it. Those blades are really cool, but they seem to do such limited damage. Oh, she did something else here. Is that her attack? If so, it sorely missed.
I wonder if I should have attuned healing or something like that. From Alice. You missed again, Melina! It's just like that fly in, in the battlefield where you can never really hit her. But she like buzzes all over the place. She did 209 damage that time. 165. Let's go, Melina. I can tell this is uh, going to be a very long fight when we do it. For real. I like that. Looks like she summons an herb tree. Melina died. Okay. Now we have Ender. Yeah, I think that's cool because she has like had such a big voice in, in the sort of like beginning of our quest and our storyline, but Seer to finally come forward in combat. It was nice because I didn't think that she would. Hi, were I? Um, I discovered your channel yesterday and I've been enjoying your Elden Ring videos and now the stream and wanted to wish you good luck and hope you enjoy the game and lore. Thank you so much. That's way too kind of you. I'm surprised that people are still coming across my Elden Ring um, playthrough and it, it, it makes me sad to know that I've left so many people waiting for the continuation of my playthrough, but it's, it, it's co great coincidence for you that you found it yesterday because I had taken quite a bit of a break from this game just because life got busy. So it's nice to be playing it now. Bet Maiden in Black would kick her ass anyway. No bias. <laughs> what, you want to see like the Maidens fight and see who would win? You need to do a video about that. Put all the Maidens together and who would win? Okay. Let's, let's try this. For real. Or we could even do like a short form video. Wow, imagine missing that. Still has the same problem of being a boss where standing close means you can dodge most of the attacks. Maybe the hammer. Not so much the hammer. That one's a different story altogether. That one just hurts. I don't like it when you're so far away, so I'm gonna close that gap. <gasps> no, I missed again! That was cool. I'm somehow not dead. Blessed be the Mounted Dew that keeps me alive and has me replenishing my HP. <laughs> cool. It's like not only is the ground covered in like some sort of oil, but he is blade as a flame and. <laughs> Oh, that, that was awesome. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. We have a feel for the fight now. Let's do this. From soft level up waifu battle royale. I'm writing that one down. Perfect. <laughs> I think the, t the title itself is catchy enough. There you go, Birdo. I want to see what, you know, maybe you could consult Backseat on this and just come with like this preposterous method of like assessing who would win in combat. Which maiden? He might help you out crafting a unique formula.
Yeah, a collaboration. One Souls nerd. One asker of silly questions with serious answers. I drank a flask. I drank the wrong flask. I really hate the hammer. Quite, quite... It's quite a passion. Okay, we need to get one more heal in. I think, like, my entire bearings of this fight... You know what? Do over. My bearings in this fight were completely destroyed the minute I healed with a wondrous flask. And I was like, wait, why did my heal that go off? <laughs> when I do narration, I'll do narration. Tag team me, I'm in. <laughs> My jump attacks does um, 716 damage, which was 616 previously, so that plus, plus one did work. I think Morgoth is one of the most enjoyable fights of this game. He was someone tough move said to begin. Yeah, I know, right? Like, the, you meet him at first and you're like, heck, this guy and people get stuck. I mean, he was the demo final boss, which I feel like is fitting. went wrong there <laughs> a lot went wrong there i have to say um some of my favorite bosses in this game so far had to be morgot morgot was good um rodan was a grand experience for me oh be only because i didn't summon and the first time i met the ancestral spirit was Whoa. <laughs> Even the music to this day makes me go, whoa. <laughs> it's just like one of those fights that just completely... I'll talk about Renala in a second. I need to... Her fight was a bit short-lived for me. I love that. I love that move. Why did I risk it all there? That was a bit dumb on my part. One is quite punishing. Jeez. I think Renala was a beautiful fight, but felt a little bit short lived for me. I really would like to go and encounter Renala a little earlier next time and see how I feel about it. But um, I think the first phase is kind of like eh, it's just like annoying, you know, kind of like doing any of those multiple ad bosses. But the fact that it had a second phase made it redeemable. You know, the fact that there was this really cool fight of Renala in her full form, you know, and all this like magic and, and, and sort of as commands of the stars and all that kind of stuff that we're like talking about in the Caria Hall. And then you get to see her. Yeah, Deacons, exactly. Deacons is a good example. I can't remember the music though, it's been a minute. Can't provide thoughts on that. Ow! 
There's some attacks that I'm misreading. Very much. And I'm uh, missing quite a few attacks. Hi, Vorpal. Welcome in. Yeah, I think that's kind of one of the um, downsides of a Souls game is that you never really know when you're going to come across an enemy. Hi, Adrian. Welcome in. And because you never know when you're going to fight them the first time, whether you're very overleveled or underleveled, will definitely change your opinion of that boss, which is why sometimes I feel like these games are fair to redo, replay. Yeah. And then try and go to different areas that you didn't go to early in your first playthrough and then see how... See how you'll do. Because I think the experience changes drastically. Yeah, there's so many attacks I could capitalize on there. If I didn't jump there, I might have actually got hit by his three blades. This attempt is not going very well. has been worth it so far. All right, Margot. Let's do this. I'm a little sad of how terrible this attempt has been going. That was bad. That was bad. Oh no, I'm good. Morgoth's going down. Once I meet my, my foe, my match, I'm not walking away until they're absolutely decimated. Might be here in a minute, but I feel like I, I had a grasp of the fight, but I've just been really messing up. I mean, he did also give me really good RNG that one instance. But no matter, he will go down. Nothing went well there. Nothing at all. This backpedaling is really not helping my cause either. boy. Come here. Well, 
Well, I'm not, I haven't completely gotten the fight just yet. <laughs> um, multiple playthroughs help add perspective, kind of the concept of your next video. Ooh, exciting. Heck, the placement of the sink. <laughs> I keep walking into it. <laughs> Every single time I come back from that side of grace. I mean, what else did I expect at a lend the top of the lend a lendal capital but a king? I wouldn't mind more of that. That spear attack is great. Yeah, boy. Ah, crap. Me surprisingly surviving that. What the game to load back quicker so I can go back and face her. And heck you. That's a nice amount of damage. 919, hot dang. Is strength that wrong? Can wait a little bit on the hammer, the side sweep of the hammer. If I wait a little bit, I can roll through it. Yeah. Okay. I just need to watch for when his hand comes with a downward swing, and then I can probably roll through it. <sighs> wait, what's uh, what's with the PS5 version? Just because, huh? I'm confused. <laughs> no war and bossing say. Clearly not. But these uh these meat sticks. They're alright. You can make five. Oh yeah, faster? Really? Is it faster than PC load time? Please. That's wild to me. Oh, here we go. How? Where did it all go 
wrong. Where did everything go wrong? I think it was the minute that I felt, yes, I could defeat this guy. We need to just consistently get to phase two. That's, that's, that should be the entirety of the goal. And whatever can assist our quest into getting into phase two, I will gladly take. I'll save the exalted flesh for a few steps in, just because I don't want it to wear off too early. Nice moment for an exalted flesh use. Came out of that. I was not ready for the follow up. That was always brutal. Like, I think that probably is my least favorite part about this fight, where he does the round swing of the hammer, and I always mess up that, like, roll. And then he follows it up with a succession of attacks. So it's like, you know, when you get struck by that hammer, like, they know you're gonna peel away and you're gonna try and run and try and um, get your footing again. And he's gonna come after you. Um, I don't know if you can change YouTube stream titles in the middle of the stream, because I think that's like what you can, um, let's see. I don't know what that does to the actual stream though. Yeah, it does. Okay. I've never actually tried that midstream before. It probably will change the name of the video as well. But, I mean, it, the intention was Godfrey. Great opener. You destroyed your throne. What are you gonna sit on now? I think that's like, look at that. All these blasts guzzled in a few attacks. I need to take my wins where I can. But I can tell you this attempt is not it. that one. Oh, 
don't know if there's anything I can do about this. Why does this remind me of Lady Maria? Also, so it seems there's like two things I need to worry about in this phase. One, where he does come at me with that like blood fire sword thing. And two, the second wave, when he strikes the ground, seems to set a blaze. <laughs> They're both hot. <laughs> Definitely something um, to be aware of in case I can come after him. I'm not dying. Hi, Hugh. Look at you, just you here. Weird. What? He dispelled it? That's what I was expecting. The shish kebab me. Early roll. I can't. I can't afford to be without. I need to strafe that. Without any flasks in the second phase, like. I need at least one for his transformation. Unless we can escape it. We can. My wondrous physic might have saved the day. You cannot abuse the power. Yeah, he doesn't have a moderate license here. <laughs> yeah, I uh, had good timing on that physic, huh? <laughs> Ow. Like, right through my midside. Like, I felt that. Like, a very painful ab day. Okay, okay. We're, get we're get consistently getting the face, too. Maybe. <laughs> we're, we're getting somewhere with this. I dare be confident and say. We could use something like a rune arc, honestly. I don't want to die here. Use an exalted flesh. I kind of want to make use of it. Something tells me we will not. I'm surprised I even survived that at all.
That blade can hurt you from afar. If you don't actually dodge it. He seems like a really cool guy. I mean, I could stop the game and leave him to survive here forever. And then, he, then who will really be winning? Me trapping him in this eternal hell for a lifetime to never face him? I feel like I would win. He's, he's definitely got reach. He's definitely got reach. And I need to learn. This famous follow up. I thought maybe my grafted greatsword would reach, but I think I underestimated or overestimated its potential. at that time. But the, the idea is not to just dodge, but to maim. <sighs> uh, I'm inside a Kia dealership with my family waiting for an oil change and you part a steering wheel. Uh-huh. A busy day for you, indeed. One of the things that... Um, I'm kind of grateful about not having a car, is having to actually maintain it. We're running, Lemons, we're running. But I, I really need to be more aggressive. There really is no reason for not for me not being more aggressive. It's the only way he is gonna go down. Chicken tender sub, yum. What goes on the chicken tender sub other than the tenders? Aggression did not work there. Miscalculated aggression. Hi, my grouper. What's up? Thank you. I appreciate the good luck. I did beat Murga on my first try with like 70% HP, 7 HP and no flasks left at the end. That sounds stressful. How long did that one take you? Like in terms of like the fight, was it like one of those really long drawn out ones or like, I hope I don't die, I hope I don't die? My Razor Scooter. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting around that way. Yeah, so you always get hit. Mm -hmm. I need to watch more. Spinach, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, chipotle mayo. Perfect combination. I dig it. Oh, come on. How did that not hit his massively big tail? Tax is not where it's at. In fact, I hate roll attacks now. I never want to use them again. I can handle. I thought I could handle it. Close proximity. I'm surprised I didn't die. All right. This fight went terribly.
there's no way we're gonna win this, but let's do our best. Oh, I thought I could strafe that. <sighs> I think I think my my real issue right now is I really need a way to make sure I don't utilize all those flasks at the beginning. If I can get that far, the second phase will become attainable, or at least mentally attainable. Feeling like I'm not <laughs> gonna suffer. This continuous combat attacks really seem well timed to throw off your ribbon. Mm -hmm. They they are. I feel like I read that message twice, or I'm having deja vu. Not with that attitude. Hey, I'm not giving up yet. Did you miss me? What do you think? Hi, Tordy. Welcome back. Here comes the follow-up. None of that is worth it. When he, when he holds a spear like that, it isn't the charged attack. It isn't worth it. I'm still, tr I'm still trying to find the things that I feel are worth like capitalizing on. The ones that are like other than the really like slow sort of wind ups and then him, you know, giving me a moment to attack. But even those, I feel like he recovers from rather quickly. So it almost feels like someone with a massive sword like me. Not saying I'm gonna walk away from trying to fight it with a great sword. Um, isn't really beneficial. It feels like, yes, I do get large damage when I do get a hit in. Yeah, it, it makes it risky. Most definitely. When is Hugh going to stream on YouTube so I can watch YouTube? You should ask him. I have an idea. I don't know if this is going to help, but we'll see. Try the spell drink. See if any of his attacks rely on magic. Hammers he summons and the blades and spears, I imagine. Do. Bad, bad roll. Very, very bad roll. An easy opening that we could have done something about. Okay, I'm finding a few openings. I wanted to see if there was an opening there. There wasn't. I know now. I know now. <laughs> When he summons the swords from above. <laughs> then, yes. Definitely run away. Yeah, it, it is a kind of a nice check like that, Synchronous. I, I appreciate it. 
Because he does have his bread and butter moves, but with enough variation that has you like... I wonder... I missed my uh, Vitality Talisman, though. I'm wondering, um, with his, like, really slow wind-up, like, with his blade, the long one, would I have moments to hit him with an R1? Something tells me it would be risky to try, which makes me not want to. But also, I wouldn't mind if I had some smoldering butterflies, which might be an argument to go back and, like, craft some resources to just utilize them. Sometimes you walk into the fight, he just slaps you silly. Like, one moment, sir. G give me one moment, please. I'll catch up. more like can you keep up with me sort of deal yeah it makes you wonder sometimes is it that you're better at the game or is it that you have a build that can withstand whatever punishment is thrown at you no i think i think i'm just playing Awfully. I'm not very confident about my gameplay right now. Like, all the rolls there? So defensive. Alright, I think I need to double down. I don't think me, I don't think anything that I've done in terms of like running away and peeling away has done me any good whatsoever. I mean, technically I wasn't here for the throne. I was just doing this leisurely tool of rent lentil capital. You know, I didn't choose, I didn't choose this. And suddenly I found myself in the throne room and I was like, huh? What? Huh? And he's talking about thrones and traitors and... How I'm a fool and I want nothing of this. I'm just here to explore the world. Oh, I can assure you, I'll turn on a great rune and I will just die with it. Alright, what'd I say? All right. I already started doing the thing I said I wasn't going to do. <laughs> I was just on an Airbnb tour. No one told me this was at the end of the line. They're like, oh, by the way, we actually sent you here so you can uh, die a fool's death. 
It's a greater sacrifice so that he would spare us instead. That's why the tour is so cheap. Lol. Lamau. Get wrecked, nerd. I don't hate R ones. How do I how did I willingly walk into that? Why did I willingly walk into that? What was I thinking? I saw my enemy in the battlefield and I said, I'm coming for you, Marga, and I walked right into a trap. You get a nice free tour of the afterlife. As long as the afterlife has um pizza, I'm alright. Pretty. I want this throne. Such an idiot. I had the right spirit and then I decided to stop. Why? Why? I was on the right track. Angel food cake with no toppings. Work with her. I was gonna wait a little longer for pizza, but I kinda regret it. Ah, oh. I always eat pizza straight away, Birdo. What foolishness is this? I actually, you know, had some pretty decent meals today, so I'm feeling okay for stream for once. I would still like to eat something yummy, but that would be a uh, excessive. Surprised how many attacks went overhead. It seems I was right. There is kind of a decent opening for me to actually get R1s when he's charging up some attacks. I just need to be able to land them. Like, uh, quite a bit. Like, he'll just, like, hold on to that blade forever, waiting to, like, slash at you. Um, and, and, and the scared Tarnished would, like, roll 10 million times, hoping that one of the rolls will be enough to <laughs> iframe the hit. Stains by my... Cr no! Not you, Dung Eater! Hi, Etsy. Well, even that's not consistent, otherwise I should be, like, reaching. If I was consistent, I would be, um, at second pace every time I do this fight, but I haven't been doing that. And, um, a lot of his hits, like, take two flasks to cleanse. Pena's 
brought upon me. I wonder's physics. The good thing is, the good thing is his attack moveset is um, similar in second phase. So all I really just have to be aware of is the additional fire. You know, that's actually a really good point. Ugh. This is what happens when you play a playthrough over freaking a freaking year. You forget that you have sacred tears. Oh, I need more. Have bubbles for the sacred tears. Bubbles. Hi, honey. Did I just like? Here's um, my golden seeds. I only have two of them. My, I'm, I'm, yeah, I have two gold seeds. I thought I had more. But my uh, flask is plus six now. Okay, I guess my game never patched. That's actually really funny. survive what am I doing wrong he's been doing a lot of cool attacks but I really hope he doesn't kill me now might very well Wow, he gave me such good RNG and I messed it all up. Like, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten into phase two right now. I royally hacked up this fight. Oh, that's so sad. It was such an interesting fight too. Unfortunate. How unfortunate. Hi, 
we did better than we ever did before. <laughs> I don't know, Birdo, because the Colosseum wasn't there last time either. <laughs> I feel like, um, no, it was, it was bad. There was like some really good, he did some really cool things I could have capitalized on, but I was just really bad. But yeah, I, I don't know. I thought my Steam would just like upgrade my Elden Ring, update it when like the updates came available, but I guess it never did. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that, um, I obtained Elden, wait, how do I check which patch of Elden Ring we're on right now? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe it has something to do with the copy of Elden Ring that I have. I have 1.02. Which one am I supposed to be on? <laughs> I have 1.02. <laughs> oh, <I'm> really? <laughs> I think I know why. It's because um this copy was given to me by Bandai Namco and I got it before release. So I've been playing the before release copy, which is the press media copy. <laughs> I'm guessing I had to like undo the press copy by like selecting the bait out. Like, you know, there's like a little bait option in Steam. <laughs> I can do Pegasus glitch. <laughs> I'm not flexing. That's literally the reason why this copy of this game has never updated on Steam. Because generally my games update by themselves, you know? <laughs> no wonder there's so many weird things about my game. <laughs> oh. That was a bad dodge. That was terribly early. That was my bad. Hey, Shumway. How was the walk? Um, I think she she enjoyed it. She was a little bit scared. I don't know why, but... Not for your series, soon. What is the weirdest thing about 1.0 that you found so far? He's giving me some pretty cool attacks. I think we can do this. Maybe we can. I don't like that one. He is giving me really cool attacks. I just wish I wasn't suffering. Thank you. 
unfortunate. 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 Unfortunate I lost my wondrous physics to those blades. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lit. <laughs> so basically, YouTube and uh, emojis and text do not go together. There's a little gnocchi behind me. You come sit next to me. Your royal throne. Ah, yes. It's awaken. No! <laughs> it's not supposed to be a... Like... Not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be a way for you to get on the desk. It's just supposed to be a way to sit next to... Yeah. Off you go. <laughs> I can't believe the Tarnish did this. Hi, Mammy Tim. Of course, she's awake for snacks. What else is she awake for other than food? Watch her disturb my Margoth. I. Yoki. Girl. I'm fighting a boss here. layer of difficulty has been up to <laughs> off you go she was supposed to sit here cutely next to me but here she is decided to distract me in the middle of a fight I think we need to preemptively throw her a snack that way she can leave us to fight this one Yuki, go long. Of course he did. Of course he did. Of course that's the attack he decides to go for when I'm just cornered like that. that one. <sighs> Yuki. 
looking at now. See her like rushing behind for the food. Try doing the same with Morgoth. Throw some snacks off the platform. Hope he jumps after them. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem like an arena where he can fall off. Let's put it that way. I swear, Nyoki. I gotta get ahead of her. No dodges were found. No dodges were found. I I believe she's gonna make this a little bit more difficult. I wanted to spend the day playing Elden Ring. Yet here she is. Adding complexity to my gameplay. Yeah, she always is, like you have to know, um, she gets up around like anywhere between 4 to 6 p.m. And it's like, it's always such a distraction for my streams. And there's not much I could do about it because she doesn't have like a companion. So she will get her attention at this hour in one way or another. Apparently he hit me. It was I who was the fool. Hey, Gnocchi. Please, things are going well for me. Missed opportunities. These foolish ambitions to rest. That one was on you. to be mad at. Here, don't, don't. <laughs> Get a hold of the tower. It's all, yeah, she's all just for. Okay, I need to hold a tower because she sometimes will like bolt off this tower and the whole tower will fall. Wait. Yeah, but that was a good attempt. I was feeling, I was feeling good about that one and it all went awry. Oh, wait, it went under the sofa, Nyoki. It went under the sofa. You're gonna have to find it. 
You have to search for it. So I think my lights are a little bit intense today. Let's turn down the of lights. Yep. Get it. Yeah, stick your paws under there. Work for your food. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't need to work for her. She's cute. She's adorable. She can get free food. I thought I had that dodge, but apparently not. I'm still bad at the hammer swing. Yoki? Yoki, you're causing chaos. Okay, I'm trying to fight you. I'm surprised I survived that. You're so distracting. <laughs> what are you going to do when the bag is out? What are you going to do when the bag is out? What are you going to do? Huh? Why can't you eat your regular food? Just still reach it. No. Let me at least get the snack. Look, look, hey, high five. She is persistent about the treat. Hey, 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 high five. No, oh, hey, that's my hand that you just She's uh she's been a little bit tense lately, so she's very like adamant about the snacks. I feel bad because it's like I I'm not trying to t hey. Hung. So, um, she's been more anxious. I've seen her. Bad about. Hey. Okay. Generally very polite. Very polite, aren't you? Oh, I haven't asked. High five. I'll give you a snack, okay? You gotta be nicer. You're using too many claws lately. High five. Sorry, we're taking a bit of a break to feed that. High five. Okay, but you, you can't just keep giving me high fives. I'm not a food dispenser. <laughs> it's like food. Give more of it. Aw. Huh? 
Stop. Hey. You gotta wait. Why are you so angry? Ha. Huh. No, I know, but I don't know. She's never done this. This is so strange. She's like all over the place in terms of energy right now. I, I literally, I can't. Second. I'm gonna put her some snacks on the gameplay. Hey, Camille. I put them in a the toy for her. Play with the toy, grab her snacks so she doesn't feel like she needs to come to me. A running wheel for her. I thought that taking her outside today would help her find a bit of that peace because, you know, changing a lifestyle was really hard on her, but um, not really. I was really hoping it would give her a bit more peace today. I just want her to be happy. But um, she just hasn't been eating her regular food the last day or so. I've been a little worried about her. I thought maybe she was just having a bit of a different, like, a different day, not feeling too well or not liking her regular food, even though I changed it up. So I think like snacks are always like that one food that she likes to eat no matter what, you know? If I could learn how to dodge that hammer, I would become unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't she snack so fast? And now she came out for the bag. Nothing in there. I feel for her. I feel like I might need to try like two or three more times and then maybe call it quits just because she needs attention. But yeah, the hammer attack, if I can avoid that, that would, that would be great. Hi, Akin. Nice to see you. Yeah, the music is fantastic in this one. I agree. some decent RNG to work with. Be 
I'm just playing terribly. Like, that was really good, reasonable RNG. All, like, attacks that were pretty avoidable, and ones I could capitalize on as well. That's okay. We have uh, quite a few things to do. Upcoming. I would like to uh, visit, you know, once we defeat um, Morgoth, go back to the dep deep root depths or something like that, where um, Fia's champions were. There's this one uh, coffin I saw that I would like to ride. Let's see what happens. Played badly. That's okay. No worries, Aka. Not for everyone. That's okay. okay. You okay, Lola? Half of this video for people that are gonna watch later is just gonna be my cat demanding attention. someone I'd really like to learn how to dodge. I need to, I need to, I need to attack. I can't not attack. I can't die to foolish things like that. He's giving me such good RNG as well.
There's no bugs on my light. There are no bugs on my Yeah, sometimes... I mean, I, I, do, I do admit that walking away sometimes is the best possible thing, but generally it isn't... Um, the walking away is my brain processing the fight and uh, trying to find that rhythm within me once more. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Could be better. But we did end up with a uh, second phase with four flasks, so... That in itself was an improvement. Wasn't absolutely helpless. Yeah, Foolish ambitions to rest. We um rolled the spear too early. And then we rolled right into his follow-up. Alright. Let's make this one of the last two attempts. I wanna say last attempt, but I know it's gonna like go bad in like the first two seconds of the fight, and I'm gonna not be happy with it, and I'm gonna wanna repeat. You know. Her interrupting me maybe was a good thing. Gave me a moment's respite. Last time because you went? Thanks! I hope so. We'll see. She's hunting stuff on my table. Dropped my cloud. My poor little cloud acrylic art piece that was on my desk. I don't think she broke it. Nothing's broken. She dropped something though. I don't think I have anything on this desk that she could like easily knock over that would break. Unless we're talking about my actual technology, which you know she might do in a second here. seen that tail move in the first instances of the fights, but I haven't seen it in a hot minute. He didn't tail whip me at all in these fights. That was it again. Twice in one fight. too early. Oh my gosh. Alright. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do one more attempt. Oh my gosh. There was so much that I did wrong there. It's like, you know when you feel like you know better and then you make that mistake and you're like, why? <laughs> and I think these games kind of feed off two things. One, your ability to keep your cool two to recall your knowledge and three to not rely on your base instincts like fear and panic like there's so much that you need to sort of
get a nice feel for. expect to get hit by the second one though. so badly right now. I'm playing so badly. Uh, like his basic attacks were base just tearing me apart. There's uh, really also this thing where you get frustrated and have to step away and then come back um, when you have the integrated knowledge. Yeah, that's that's why I like the idea of like my brain is still processing this very fight, even though I've like gone to do other things in my life. Marga, sir, please, yes, please, cease and desist. You are but a thorn in my side. All of my flasks were just wasted in the game of cat and mouse. I feel like my brain has gotten too dull and too slow to be able to read these attacks now. where I'm at right now. Yep. Pretty much every attack he's had to hit me with I've walked right into. Where'd 
We're getting there, though. Glory to mankind. I feel like that's a near saying. <sighs> We're getting there, though. I'm surprised I survived that long, considering I had nothing left to be able to survive my final moments. I keep saying that it'll be long. One thing you should know about me. One is the last try is never the last try. And two, I don't give up. And three, <laughs> the role of the fight is too much for me to just step away. Never ending patience. There's never ending attacks. Hey, Kaz. Welcome in. I misread a few attacks there. Quite a few attacks, actually. Box. What use is getting him to this phase if I can't even survive what's to come next? behind him I deserve that I deserve that I walked straight into the blast that was behind him and I have to just remind myself that phase two is no different than phase one except he maybe has that one like blood that one bleed attack and the one grab or not grab but the one that he basically like shanks you in the side so if I can just treat him no different than normal, then he should be a straightforward fight. But the thing is, is that there's so many attacks that I am just capitalizing on that shouldn't be capitalized on. Like, there are some movements in his blade, some slower than others. Those are the ones I want to roll into. Like, that one's the one I shouldn't have attacked on, while this one is. So, if I can just pace myself a little bit better, then uh, this fight would go a lot better. Rather than constantly finding myself, like, trying to pick up the pieces. As that blood. He's awesome, though. I will say that. As far as uh, Souls bosses go, he is pretty cool. Crap, that was the wrong thing. Ah, 
I messed that up terribly. One too many flasks seized. Particularly that attack I don't want to attack on. Yeah. Okay, this truly is the final attempt. Mark my words, we will stop here. I don't think there's progress to be had. In this state. That's what they all say. Shh. This is it. I also accidentally used my ex last exalted flesh. That was unfair. I got caught by the, the hitbox of the grab and then he followed up with a spear in the hitbox. <sighs> that was dirty. It could, I could have recovered from that too. <laughs> Hi Marbs. I could have recovered from that. Yeah, I think there was uh, some peace in my silence and just finding my uh, a level head. I could have actually used Oath of Vengeance once more in that fight as well.
That's the one that I should never capitalize on. I'm surprised I didn't die. Way to lose my wonders physics. I wish I could have rolled into that. I can't see him. Okay. Next time. Next time. Hmm. We're getting there. All I needed was just to test myself over and over again to get to second phase. There's like some instances where he can actually completely derail my ability to just see what he's doing. Like he'll spin around in a way that <laughs> just has me reeling. bad rolls. That's one of them. This is one of those instances where like I don't know where my head is at. This is bad. Bad pacing and everything. I can't. That was really bad. I know, I have resolve, I just... That last attempt really shook me, you know? Those gold attacks have always been nasty. It always gets me by surprise, that's why I mostly keep my distance. Distance hasn't really, um... Worked out for me. I miss Hug. At all. In fact, distance is generally what has me dead. Unless he's gonna do things, like, that I can dodge, you know, then I'm okay with it. Then I can... Feel comfortable- oh, wait. <laughs> feel comfortable in my distance. But... For the most part, he slapped me around when I've stayed far away.
Oh yeah. Quick follow up to that. I think he's he he shook me to my core. <laughs> Hi Duck. I think I have nerves. It's not gonna work. My confidence has been thrown out the window. What are you doing, Yoki? What are you doing, girl? you're not playing this game it, yeah I mean th there's not much that you can do I mean, sometimes I feel like unless you're like you've played this game several times and you sort of um have much experience fighting a boss beating it once doesn't necessarily you can beat it again and oh it's hard to see people also like struggle through it but I think there's there's a reward in, in watching how people get better. You still haven't beaten Ellen Ring. No, it's because I only play it on YouTube and I haven't been streaming to YouTube very frequently and I haven't been doing my like um, playthrough videos. So basically my playthrough videos stopped about August last year, I want to say. Sometime in the summer was some of my last Elden Ring videos and then I only got like four or five live streams after that. So and I haven't been playing it offline. This has kind of been all I've been doing. Okay. Um, the Divine Bridge is something I'm going to investigate. The uh, Suru Jail um, in Ashen Capital is something I want to investigate. We have to beat Morgoths. There's also Deep Root Depths. There's a coffin here that I need to go to. And uh, we spoke to Ronnie today. Um, and we defeated Godfrey. So it means that next time we stream, that, that will be the fight that we work on. I feel like it'll be okay. I feel like Morgoth in our, our next stream will become easier. At least that's what I hope. At least that's what I hope. I feel like I could probably like come in do like two to three attempts and then feel pretty good about it going for the win and yeah yeah he's gonna get got next time he's gonna get hecked once you fight him on full stomach you think so you're right vorpal no thank you for hanging out with me I i'm sorry that um uh, we couldn't get the win today but that means we're just saving a big victory next time prevent my camera from spinning around endlessly which I'm excited for. Swear your oath of vengeance, more gods will get hacked. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I appreciate it. I also have my book full of notes, so we'll see where we get next time. 
in uh, the lore. I feel like I filled most of this book with just lore of this game. Um, I might need to just in my off time just like sit there and pull all the pieces together so I can remember everything as more lore develops in the next stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm not too sure if Friday next week we'll have another one of these because I have a gig on uh, Saturday, which means I might be leaving leaving my home um, a little earlier than Friday. So I will let you know when our next stream is. Maybe it'll be then, maybe not. Um, maybe we'll try and find some other time next week to do so. But I'm excited. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for um, the people that became members today of the channel. It means a lot to me. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves today, despite me getting completely lost in this fight. I feel like there's instances where I can just like, I can shut out all the world around me and I can just focus on what Morga is doing. And I feel like the kind of like focus that you can get in these fights is like none, none other. So it was fun. Thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll be seeing you around one way or another, whether it's this video um, in the future or any one of my other ones. Or if you want, you can also find me on my Twitch channel. We're currently playing through Metroid Prime Remastered there and Metal Gear Solid 3 and a touch of Final Fantasy 14 online. So Elden Ring has been an exclusive to YouTube only. Thanks for joining me. Um, exclamation, exclamation social if you want to find out what my Twitch channel is, just in case you didn't know I streamed there. And I will see you all next time. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. See you next time.